Welcome back, spectacular Spidey fans and true believers all around, and this is another Spider-Man PS4 video, and today I'm going to be talking about why it was good that the Spider-Man PS4 Pro clip was as short as it was, and I know that sounds insane, but hear me out first. So, once again, during E3, we saw a 1 minute 20 second trailer full of gameplay, in-engine scenes, not cutscenes, not CGI, but in-engine slash real-time cinematics in the game, uh, as well as what we can expect from it, what action we can uh, see from it, and how amazing it looks all around. But that was for E3, and the announcement of the game to show its reveal and to reveal to the fans that the Spider-Man game exists, it's being made by Insomniac Games, and it looks gorgeous. Um, and... We got interviews, we got two separate interviews from Insomniac Games, and uh, they were amazing, and it got us more information about the detail of the games, kind of the backstory of it, kind of the character that we can expect from Peter and Spider-Man in this game, and how they are going to be affected within this game, as well as how um, we are going to be able to see and play Spider-Man unlike any we have played before, and they are going to deliver on all cylinders, they are going to fire off on all cylinders, and I believe, personally, make the greatest Spider-Man PS4, make the greatest Spider-Man game ever made, um, regardless if it's on the PS4, or Xbox One, or whatever it's on, which is PS4, but I think, personally, just because of how we have a amazing, talented studio, and just the hardware that they are being provided to them, um, even though Sony technically owns the rights, and that's why they made it only on PS4, and other reasons, but you can go check out my other videos and see why I think that it's better that this game is only on PS4. Um, but the reason why I believe specifically on why that 30 second clip is good, that it was so short, the reason why I believe that it was good that they did not make it longer or a full demo, or a full kind of little tiny gameplay trailer and not even show like one segment of him swinging, not even show one segment of him walking on the street as Peter Parker. I'm assuming that we can do that, I hope. Or not even showing him fighting some thugs. Um, the reason why I believe it was the best thing to make this as short as possible and to show little what they did of just citizens walking around, cars driving around, and Spider-Man on this flagpole here is because they wanted to show the game's beauty. They wanted to show the game as an artwork. They wanted to portray it as it is a masterpiece of gaming ingenuity, development, publishing, and technology that they have at their disposal to make this game look as beautiful as it is. And even if you read on Insomniac Games' Twitter page, there are comments stating that Spider-Man has never looked so crisp and beautiful before. It is a dream come true that Spider-Man looks the way he does, the way the game looks, the way that everything just looks like it is going to flow extremely well in this game, and especially the way that Spider-Man looks and how we cannot wait to play as this hero in this city and be the hero that we all wish we could be. Because, again, the E3 trailer was mainly there to just show gameplay, to show story, a little bit of story, to you know, with the Peter's voice and hearing him kind of speak dialogue about what the background of it is and what we kind of think that might mean for the game, as well as see the main parkour elements as well, main web sling elements, main combat elements, main set pieces, main villain. Um, that was all the trailer for the announcement because fans were rumoring that this was going to happen, and it did happen. Um, and this little thing, as I said in my last video, um, this event was not made to be like E3 2.0. If anything, PSX in December is going to be like E3 2.0. Um, this little tiny PlayStation meeting, again, was just for the consoles. It was not for the games. It was to show off Sony's hardware. Um, and as you can see, that for all the games that were shown, like For Honor, Days Gone, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, you know, tons and tons and tons and tons of other games there that had the same amount of time shown for Spider-Man PS4. Like, they had the same amount of stuff to show. I know that we already we got another demo of Horizon Zero Dawn and another demo of Mass Effect Andromeda and another kind of demo of For Honor a little bit and even of Watch Dogs 2. I understand. I know I was kind of expecting a demo too. I feel a bit sad. A little bit sad. Not all sad. Just a tiny bit sad that we didn't get a full gameplay demo because I understand what you guys are talking about and where you're coming from. But just again, 
The reason why it is good that it was as short as it was, and not as long as we hoped it was, is because the first trailer was to show the gameplay. It's like, that's what the game looks like, that's how it's going to be played, that's how you are going to be able to play it, and that's why we are working so, 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 so hard to make all of those elements that you saw in that trailer perfect as it can be, as beautiful as it can be, as amazing as it will be. That's why in this trailer, they just showed a scene of the street of New York City looking as beautiful as it could be, almost as realistic as the real New York City. I've never seen a New York City in any game, Spider-Man or otherwise, look as beautiful as it j did just there. And then panning up to see Spider-Man just crouching on a flagpole, overlooking the city that he is going to protect and we are going to be able to swing around in and play as this hero. And once again, it all leaves interpretation for our minds to go bananas with. It can go from speculation, like what's this street on? What's that statue? Like, is that a certain landmark there? Are those certain people on that street significant? Is that street significant in general? Why is Spider-Man there? Um, Michael Stretch in his newest video, he mentioned, is this the beginning of the game? Go check his video out. I really dig it. I think it could be. Um, any possibilities that we're thinking of? Because like I've said, why the marketing of this game is so brilliant, Another reason why, the reason why it's so short is because it's all left to the fans. More speculation, more theories, more details, more in-depth analyses. Um, everything that we can, can imagine and speculate on will happen, and you can definitely count on me for that. But once again, the trailer in the E3 was mainly gameplay. This was mainly to show the, the just astounding realism that Insomniac has put their heart and soul in. Just watch this little 30 second clip again and again and again break it down in your heads watch it rewatch it look at how clean and crisp and beautiful spider-man looks how texturized his suit is how realistic and kind of photo realistic the city is from the buildings to the streets to the you know even the garbage on the streets you can kind of see to the shining of the buildings and the different type of structures that are there to all the cars to the smoke coming out from the vents to these people walking around doing every little thing is being differently done from each individual person just again Little tiny 30 second clips like this, instead of a fully fledged gameplay demo, I know gameplay demos are great, we will see one eventually, but for now, I think this little short 30 second clip, while showing the beauty of this game, is really going to hit home for those true Spidey fans like me and all of you, um, true believers, seeing the greatest possible Spider-Man game that we will ever have in our lifetime, and I just think that Insomniac is going to do an amazing job, and as for this little 30 second clip, you can definitely bet that I'll be analyzing it soon. Just right now, I think this clip was mainly just to show the beauty of the game because Spider-Man didn't even do anything. He was just sitting and watching the city. But again, it just shows how in-depth and detailed his suit is, how the city looks, how the game will be, and how I know once we play it, it is going to be a masterpiece. So thank you for watching, True Believers. Make sure to stay tuned for more Spider-Man PS4 related videos. Keep your Spidey senses tingling, everybody. Stay spectacular.